Yes. This morning, Afghan President Hamid Karzai remains defiant. He says his decision to free 65 suspected Taliban fighters is, quote, of no concern to the U.S., but the prisoner release is adding to strained relations between Washington and Kabul. Major Garrett is at the White House where officials say they're very disappointed. Major, good morning. Well, good morning, Nora Anthony. The relationship between President Obama and Afghan President Hamid Karzai is virtually non-existent. Repeated U.S. protests against this, against this prisoner release not only fell on deaf ears, but may have accelerated and intensified Karzai's defiance. The United States believes these prisoners are indeed dangerous, have committed acts of war and or terrorism against U.S. and NATO forces, and they fear some may have already returned to the battlefield, and if they haven't, they soon will. The Afghan government ignored much of the evidence the U.S. provided and claims that the prisoners and the prison itself at Bagram Air, Air Base violate Afghan sovereignty. The United States contends there was more than enough evidence to prosecute these Taliban prisoners under Afghan law, and the sovereignty argument is essentially a sham. Now, Karzai leaves office in April. The one remaining question is whether he will sign an agreement already negotiated with the United States to keep a residual force of U.S. troops in Afghanistan after 2014. The United States has said that agreement must be signed soon or those U.S. forces will pull out entirely. What remains unclear is whether Karzai will sign it or the United States will swallow that demand and wait for the new Afghan government post-April to make a decision about the size of that residual U.S. force. Nora and Anthony.